see one that's a little bit darker, but that would be the beginning of a black head there. Hi, I hope you all are doing okay. You have been on this journey with me with the Zip Fix where I try a bunch of different products to try to clear my acne. And in every single episode, I use this trusty little microscope. So I thought for today's episode, I would bring in a dermatologist to explain what I'm actually seeing in my pores. Hi, Dr. Dustin Portella. Thank you so much for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Thanks for having me, Celia. Absolutely. I am a board certified dermatologist. I practice in Boise, Idaho, and I've been in practice for almost three years now. I think we can just get into it. So yeah. if we want to pull up the first clip. Okay. We can look at poor spatula before. So in looking at your skin, it looks you know, pretty typical. What we're going to always see is we're going to see pores anywhere on the head and neck. We have pores all over the body, but particularly on the head and neck and the face, the nose, we have a large concentration of sebaceous glands, which are the oil producing glands. And you can see those on your microscope that you have some dilated pores and they have a material in them that's sebum is what we call it. As that sebum material builds up, we're going to see those pores get a little bit more dilated and a little bit more visible, even to the naked eye. Let me know if you see anything that looks like a blackhead. Okay. Sorry, of course my dog is barking. <laughs> <laughs> He's a 60-pound Labradoodle. Wow. Yeah. There's a few, and kind of at the top left part of the screen, you see one that's a little bit darker, but that would be the beginning of a blackhead there. The way that you can tell is that if it's like a little bit darker in color. Yeah. Okay. So as the sebaceous material, that sebaceous plug or filament is exposed to air, it begins to oxidize. And that oxidation is what imparts the black color. So when I was looking at these after shots, like when I was just putting these together, um, I kind of felt like it didn't work that well. Like I'm still seeing a lot of clogged pores. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I still do as well. I feel like maybe the material has protruded a little bit more, like it started coming out, but didn't fully express that sebaceous filament. The second one is pore mousse. That was the Neogen pore mousse. You see that, um, the white thing? I don't really even know what to explain. Yeah. It looks different that, than the rest. That looks more like a white head. So oh. you've got an accumulation of, of sebum in there, but it hasn't broke the skin. It hasn't push that pore open and so it's still that would be a white head rather than a black head right around 40 seconds there's a little bit more irritation it looks like there's some redness associated with those pores and so you can you might be getting a little early inflammatory response there and maybe developing a more significant you know like acne pimple there all right let's go to the after for that pore moves after see when i looked at these the afters. I thought it worked like better than the pore spatula. And where you might get the benefit from this product is that alginic acid is a little bit of an acid. And like I mentioned, when you have an, like a blackhead, you get a little bit of that oxidized material on top. And the alginic acid in the pore mousse might be dissolving a little bit of that top layer. I don't think it's physically pulling out, but it might be dissolving a little bit of that top part of that plug, that sebum plug. Um, what's the next one? Oh, the next one is the bef is the pore strip. Yeah, I guess if I'm looking for like a pore that's not full of gunk, would it be would it be these or would it be like those really tiny ones that look like they don't have anything in them? Yeah, it's more of those little tiny ones like on that other image. Okay, I think we can go to the after for this one. Pore strip after. And I thought this one did a pretty good job. Yeah, they look very healthy. Maybe still a little bit of oxidized material in a couple places, but... I thought, I was like, oh, that's a clean pour. Is that right or no? Yeah, it is. It's a clean looking pour. There's no oxidized material on top of it. That's a healthy looking pour. The ones that I see here just have a very small amount of sebum, a little bit of oxidation on the top, but overall, you know, this would be a really healthy appearance to your skin. I showed these to my, my team and they were like, oh my gosh, gross. And I'm going to go back and be like, you know what? They're healthy. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have, if they haven't put themselves under the micro right. microscope, then <laughs> you they... can't talk if you haven't exactly. done it. All right. I 
think we can go to the latest one that I did, which is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. Can you tell like where a scar is like in the healing process? Well, you've still got a fair amount of redness there around that. And there's often, um, when we talk about scarring, a lot of people believe they have scarring when in fact what they have is called inflammatory pigment change. When you get an injury on the skin, the body has to heal that. And in different skin types, that will fade faster or slower. And that's more what I see here rather than a scar is an inflammatory pigment change that will fade with time. I was like in shock like afterwards I was like speechless because this first shot here like I feel like they look so good yeah so a BHA is particularly good when we're dealing with oil glands and sebum but yeah you would say that these look like good like it did a good job there yeah I think it did a really good job so we have some scarring at 213 or not scarring sorry pigment changing <laughs> I think that very surface of the skin looks very healthy um, but the deeper component of the pigment or the inflammation i don't think is radically different but the surface of the skin looks really healthy which is going to in the to the naked eye make a difference in how it's perceived i mean i guess what i'm learning is that like it's never gonna be perfect like it's nothing is ever gonna get any everything i don't yeah think. perfect is a relative term because right, so I, I think that perfect. your skin looks really good here. Okay. It's in, It wouldn't be healthy to do extractions every single day just because our skin needs time to repair and to maintain its own barrier. Right. And so getting rid of that oxidized material is going to eliminate the appearance of blackheads, which will in turn make your pores appear smaller. But we're not necessarily always going after the objective of pulling out that entire sebaceous plug. I think that was it. This was incredibly helpful. I really, really appreciate Good. your time. And I yeah. feel like I should have done this way earlier, but <laughs> we live and we learn. But I want I say a lot of words wrong in my head. Like I say hammock and like just some weird stuff. And then I say them out loud yeah. and people are like, that's not right.